Hi guys, welcome back to Transcended Institute. This is a continuation of the 2023 Internal Biology paper and we are on question 4 now. Let's get into it. So question 4 reads, figure 3 shows an example of an ecosystem. So in this ecosystem we have sunlight, we have water, we have small fish, we have carnivorous fish, we have land, and we have plants. I don't know if I was supposed to show you from there or from the diagram, but yeah, this is the small fish here. We have bigger fish. Um, we have sunlight. I'm sure this is the source of sunlight and it's like showing here. And we have water there. We have land here and we have more plants. Okay, so question four Question 4a reads, let me just move my page. Okay, so question 4a reads, identify two non-living parts of an ecosystem in figure 3. I really wish I could scroll back. I can always do that anyways, so that you guys have a visual understanding. So we are asked to identify two non-living parts of an ecosystem in question 3. And... Um, those um we have sunlight okay we have sunlight here we have land here i don't know what i'm repeating and we have water so those are non-living i'm sure you know the difference between living and non-living things so the opposite of non-living things is living things so the plants are living the fish is living okay both carnivorous and small fish are living. Okay, so we're going to put sunlight here. Sunlight and water. You can also put land, but you can also check on the marks given. It's just a one mark question, so you don't have to stress yourself over it. And then we have question 4b, which says, from the features of the ecosystem in figure 3, name the type of ecosystem. Okay, so this is an aquatic ecosystem. You can also call it a pond ecosystem. So, yeah, aquatic or pond ecosystem. Okay, and then we have 4c question 4c which says explain the role played by the following in the ecosystem in figure 3 so we have c1 which says the small fish so the small fish um, they are the consumers if you know what the consumers are these are the ones that uh, start the what do you call it the food chain the food web the food chain from the beginning they eat the grass okay so they are the consumers they are the consumers and they are prey for larger fish okay prey for larger fish they also control population for smaller organisms like mosquitoes small fish do eat mosquitoes actually um Control population for uh, smaller organisms. Smaller organisms. Okay, and then we have C2, which is carnivorous fish. So for carnivorous fish, they are the predators in the ecosystems. Okay. They are the predators in the ecosystem system and also they control the population of smaller fish. Control population. of smaller fish
okay and they help in nutrient cycling when they die and decompose and help in nutrient cycling when they die and decompose in fact they are also food for smaller fish so when a big fish dies the smaller fish actually start feeding on it so bit by bit they eat it the remains do rot and they are recycled okay and then we have question 4d which is the last question of question 4 how does the sunlight in figure 3 affect the distribution of plants in the ecosystem Sorry, let me just read that again. How does the sunlight in figure three affect the distribution of plants in the ecosystem? Okay, so we know that sunlight is essential for photosynthesis, right? So um, the plants are able to make food or to produce food using the sunlight. So in the pond ecosystems, plants will grow more densely in areas where there is sunlight or where sunlight can actually reach. Okay, so the availability of sunlight affects the distribution of plants as they will be find uh, they will be found primarily in the areas that are well lit, you know, areas near the surface of the water or in shallow regions where sunlight can penetrate. So, what can I say? So, plants will grow more. Yeah, plants will grow more uh, densely in areas where there is more sunlight okay so the availability the availability of sunlight affects the areas sorry the availability of sunlight affects the dist the distribution of plants let me just the distribution of plants as they will be found or as they will grow more in well lit areas in well lit or in what sunlight lit areas that's like near the surface of the water yeah near the surface of the water or in shallow regions shallow regions where light can penetrate all right guys if you have gone this far thank you very much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video leave a comment on what topic i should do on next and if you want me to go in details in this particular topic, you can leave that in the comment section. And yeah, I'll make a video on the topic or any topic of your choice that you don't think you have actually grasped the concept. And yeah, enjoy the next video. Bye.